All right, YouTubers, I'm leaving the Gladstone, Escanaba, kind of southern UP area. And I'm heading to my normal stop at the... Oh, that was interesting, um, driving stuff. Um, but I'm heading to my normal stop when I make my way back to Ohio, or Ohio as I call it. <laughs> I'm heading to St. Ignace. Cats rejuvenated for the long drive back to Ohio. I always think this section is pretty. So I'll record a little bit of this. I got to stop for gas and I got the side windows not latched. So I'm getting a little bit of noise. This last leg of my long trip is going to be mostly rambling, but I'll stick a little bit of music in here. Beautiful day in the Ute. Let's see if we can fix that. Very beautiful day in the Ute. Other than some darn RVer, oh, got the window open. Some darn RVers slowing up progress. It's 65 here, not even doing 60. Right now we're going slow. 45 miles an hour. Going that slow gave me a flashback to driving through the Rockies and passing people going even slower than me. I didn't pass very many people going slower than me, but a handful. Beautiful up here. No, it's not. It's terrible. It's horrible. Don't come up to the UP. Mosquitoes are the size of Volkswagens. It's just eagles will carry your babies away. Stay away, stay away, stay away. <laughs> That's what a Uper sounds like. I'm speeding. But not enough for some people. I've been on this section of US 2 a lot over the years, and you do have to be careful because some people need to go. Lake Superior is pretty darn special, but Lake Michigan ain't much to sneeze at. Let's get back where you're going. The wind's blowing. Once again, Eddie needs more gas. All right, we're 22 gallons of go-go juice later. We're back on the road. It is windy off that lake. 86 miles to St. Egg, which I don't think anybody up here calls it St. Egg. I was told, no, that's just a you thing. We don't say that. These two guys are trying to figure out when we get to go or something. All right. Treasure City, which they said is the UP's largest gift store or whatever. Doesn't look that big. And on your left up there is Kawadin Casino. And last fall I stayed there. They have free RV camping. They have one 30 amp hookup and a bunch of 110. There's a couple campers there. I have to turn my music off in order to sometimes give you YouTube music. I apologize for that. place right here in the past Millwood I got some venison pasties they were pretty good not as dry as you would think pretty good again previous video of my exploring of the wonderful UP no don't wait it's not wonderful it's terrible it's horrible don't come up here eagles will steal your babies <laughs> oh and the wind will blow you around
need me to say anything again. That's beautiful. All right, YouTubers, if you haven't seen me before, welcome to St. Ignace. If you've seen me before, welcome back to St. Ignace. Uh, <laughs> All right, oh boy, we're done with you. Uh, gateway to the Yoop, gateway to Mackinac Island, home of lots of tchotchkes and food. <laughs> it's pretty much a tourist town, but it's cute. A lot of neat things to do. Ojibwa Museum right there is nice, worth a trip and a donation. Hotel Row out here. I... There really are a ton of hotels in St. Ignace and I don't know what the rates are because, as you know, this is an RV channel and I'm lucky enough to take my bed with me where I go so I don't need somebody else's bed bugs. Rest easy though, I've heard no stories of bed bugs in St. Ignace. Oh, there's a lot of them here. I saw a lot of RVs as I was driving in. Not a good sign. I was nervous. Boy, it sure looks full. And yeah, it does look full. I could park over here or along these trees or anywhere in the parking lot. You can park for free, but I want to give it one more look and make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, not excited about this. Happens though. This has never happened to me before. Well, actually, I came up once and it was closed because of a demolition derby. Maybe I talk about it to you people on the internet too much. But I got a secret place, which I am not going to tell you. Sorry. All right, YouTubers, it is crossing the bridge day. Got a little rain this morning. GPS tell me 490 miles. It's saying uh, six hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> I know I can add probably two hours onto that. Apparently Garmin's an elf boy thinks you never need gas and there's never traffic and that you can always go the speed limit so yeah i was gonna set up cameras in a bunch of different spots i had ideas and uh i didn't do that i put the other mount on the center section that's where you're at now because of the rain it's a hazy morning not a lot of wind which is nice How you doing? Yeah, good Thanks, you too. Well, looks like with everybody buying a darn Class B, I think they have no doubt what a camper van is anymore, so it was 10 bucks. All right, here we go. Speed limit is 45, loaded trucks are 20. I won't be speeding. 
I'll do my best not to speed. See, I'm doing 44, and I can't pick up the radio station. But it's nice there's no uh, work being done, so I don't have to get on the grates. This is one heck of a bridge. The Mighty Mac really is an architectural masterpiece. It is a beautiful bridge. You'd love driving across it. zero construction and something that's never happened to me before. I didn't get passed once, not one time. And I didn't pass anybody else. It was my bridge. Well, YouTubers, I'm a little sad. I'm, I'm a bit sad. Leaving the UP is tough. And what a fantastic trip this has been for me. 5,000 miles cross country over the Rockies, over the Cascades. It sure beats a day at the office. It sure beats a day at the office. Saw some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things and just had a fantastic time. There's a good chance I'll ramble more about it, but we've made it over this just under five mile bridge. 200 feet above the water. Luckily today on a very nice day, no wind at all. And got a long day ahead of me to get to Dayton, Ohio. I'll share some of it with you. But for now, I'm going to take a break from GoPro and while I'm driving, but I'll be back in a couple seconds as far as you're concerned. All right, that didn't take long. It's raining pretty decent. But it's a nice cool day, a great day for driving. Cruising along at 70. That's about as fast as I usually tend to go, unless I'm going down the Rockies. <laughs> uh, I was over 80 a few times which isn't a big deal, but in a van, it's pretty quick. For now, I'm just going to enjoy a nice, calm drive as long as I can. Pass through Indian River, Michigan at about 8.30 in the morning. for another coat of rain -X, I think, and I, uh, I apologize for not being able to bring this rain out west where it was needed. All right, YouTubers, I got to tell you, I got to calm Eduardo down here. Eddie wants to run today. I don't know if any of you are like that, but I feel like... You... This car down any chimneys. Oh, God. Oh, mind your business, elf boy. But... You get the feeling some days that your car has a personality and some days it wants to run and some days, yeah, not so much. Well, he wants to run today. Like, that's 75 and I don't need to be doing 75. 
I have to put the cruise control on. Pull your reins in, Eduardo. All right, that's all I had with that. I sure wish I could reach that GoPro up there. I, I'd pull the camera up a little bit. I like these moments and sometimes I record them. All right, I pulled off to this rest stop. Cause Kiga girl wants to get up by the coffee pot. I'm gonna help her and see if I can get the GoPro any better. All right, I hope that's better. Not exactly where I want it, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna get onto the highway. All right, Keek, happy girl now. All right, I'm behind an old Class B. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a Chinook, maybe. It's got an instant on hot water heater on the back door. It's painted matte black. I can see some panels up on top. I wanted to pass it before the uh, construction, but it didn't work out with all the traffic. It's Dooley's. All right, we're going over the rough and bouncy Zilwaukee Bridge. It's a kind of high bridge with a neat view, but it is in such terrible shape. I never like crossing the Zilwaukee. 220 miles left to go. GoPro's acting all finicky. Weird. I change out two batteries, but seems to be working now. And uh, cruising on, cruising on. There it is. It's the UG Ohio sign. Back in Ohio. Basically, sadly, in Ohio. Tubers, I hadn't felt like doing much of a ramble. It hadn't really changed. Um, but fantastic trip. 5,000 miles all the way to Washington, all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Um, I'll have another trip coming up in the fall. Not sure if I'm going to YouTube it or not. Maybe just pieces, parts, I don't know. It takes a lot of time and effort, and it's, I don't know. I may or may not do it. Maybe I'll get a ramble going here in a minute. I was just sitting here driving, trying to figure out what my favorite part of this long trip was. It's really difficult for me to figure it out. I'm a big fan of the UP for those that, well, most of the people that watch my channel are the few that watch my channel. Um, so that's no news that I'm a big fan of the UP. Uh, I like the trip through the Rockies, even though it was a little stressful, concerning. You know, an old RV going through the Rocky Mountains, but I enjoyed that. Pacific Coast, you know, the Olympic Peninsula is just spectacular. Everywhere you go is just so beautiful. And then I think a big part of what I'm going to remember from this, and hopefully I get some videos posted, uh, food. Wow, I'm doing 70 and this guy is flying. Lying in a Lexus with temp tags. Um, anyways, it was food. Hopefully I'll get some of the videos posted. I recorded some of the stuff. Some of the stuff I just took pictures of and we'll talk about. But had some of the best food I've had in years. Unexpectedly. Just just amazing. Vinny's happy right now. It's just muggy enough that I got the AC on. I don't think this has been a great gas mileage trip for me. Usually I get right around 15 miles a gallon. Uh, I'm sure when I sit and figure it out, because I track my mileage. I'm sure between driving too fast and the mountains, I don't think my mileage was all that great. But... If you get the opportunity and you're not out west, head out west. If you get the opportunity, if you're out west, head up north. But stay out of the UP. It's terrible. It's horrible. Big, 
things will carry your children's away. Bears will eat you. None of that's true, but UP's getting too crowded. And if you're from Wisconsin, this is a personal thing that I make jokes about. If you're from Wisconsin, stay in Wisconsin. Leave the UP alone. Uh, every third car you see is, is Wisconsin. You got nice places there. Stay there. These are all jokes we're doing because my brain is tired. Ohio is... Ohio is Ohio. I think I still live here because it's cheap. I have cheap rent. I got some other states I could offend, but I'll leave it be. I do when I travel and I look at places, I often wonder why people live where they live, you know, what made somebody live in that city. Sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. We made it to a milestone, always a good milestone, 100 miles to go to my main turn. It gets me pretty close there, 100 miles. All right, YouTubers. the. Uh, road sign over the highway said something really funny. It said uh, camp in Ohio State Parks, not the left lane, which is a pet peeve of mine. It drives me literally crazy. Get out of the passing lane. Um, so I guess I'll do a wrap up kind of thing that I already did a little bit of. Awesome, amazing, wonderful great trip all the way out to the Pacific Northwest uh, Olympic Peninsula spent a month out there I love the journey out there as well as the destination of the Olympic Peninsula driving through the Rockies and all that I saw was spectacular I was very fortunate to have an even better time than normal in the UP and I always have a good time in the UP um fantastic time both sides of the trip out west before I went and after I got back and a pretty good drive today right about eight hours so I'm very thrilled that everything went well um, for the people that did watch along I hope you enjoyed I still have a lot more videos to work on make sure to remember to enjoy a trip while you're on a trip. YouTube, honestly, doing the videos and all the work that goes with it can sometimes get in the way. So when I do a trip, it's to enjoy a trip and do YouTube as well. And the only reason I do it is to show what others can do. You'll see that it, the channel's not really about me. It's about the places you can go and the times you can have. Kind of a low key, comfortable in my own skin kind of person, don't feel the need for all that stuff. Just trying to share some good places and good ideas. And as always, when I do a trip, it doesn't matter where you're going, just enjoy where you're going. I'm gonna continue on route, which is almost done. I'm already ready for the next trip. But I think I do need a little bit of calm down time. I just hope everybody can get out there, stay safe, travel, wander, see the places you always wanted to see. Time goes by quicker than we think. And the more you get to see and do, the more great and wonderful days you'll have. That's it. We've come to the end of this trip.